All right, today we're gonna do a painting called Dazzling Drips. All right, the question of the day is, who is Andrew Tischler? All right, let's run through the colors. Red Oxide, Quin Magenta, Pearly Red Dark, Cadmium Yellow Pigment, Pearly Orange, Copper, Van Dyke Brown, Indian Yellow, Cad Yellow Dark, Primary Yellow, Phala Green, Quin Blue, Primary CN, Titanium White, Mars Black. All right, today we're gonna paint a style I call Dazzling Drips. We got that initial layer, kind of this chocolatey kind of copper layer. You can barely see the copper, so it comes out just a little bit. So we'll see how that plays out in the later layers. We got a lot of magenta here that's kind of pulling through. It's gonna be washed a lot with that gesso, as well as a little touch of the orange, not much. So we're gonna bring back the orange and we're gonna bring in a more playful yellow in the middle to really contrast these red early layers. <laughs> We got our next layer in we added kind of um, this orange and brown and we kind of toned that down um, we got a lot of nice drip effect here from the top to bottom um, for our next layer we're going to kind of brighten that up with a darker chocolate brown on the bottom um, and intensify that red and then add some more yellow in the middle to really make that pop done with that dark blue layer in the bottom to really intensify that um, and we see in a really nice drip pattern um, we have that kind of purple blending in with the yellow makes a nice brown um, so I what we want to do there is probably uh, intensify that red we want to add kind of a quin red to make that pop um, as well as um, work on the bottom here um, the middle we're gonna do more lighter gonna light that up with a little bit of yellow to make that pop um, the, we're going to bring back in that chocolate brown color on the bottom, so that'll bring back in that color that we've lost here, as well as um, intensify the red and yellow and pull it all together. <laughs> Um, he lives in New Zealand. Um, his father, um, his father was a sculptor, and when the Vietnam War came out, he kind of just said, "Hey, I don't want to be a part of this." <laughs> he eloped to Europe, and then later um, they settled in Australia, I think, or New Zealand. And um, so, yeah, it's, you know, Andrew grew up there versus in the States, and he has a really good YouTube channel. Um, so he has a lot of tutorials on how to paint the landscape. And ironically, when he's at school, all the art teachers were like, you have to paint some serious stuff here, Andrew. <laughs> and so they didn't really tolerate this traditional kind of landscape artist, but he's really honed his craft, really worked on that, has some really great tutorials out there about how to paint the landscape, you know, the colors you use, really an oil I think he's mostly focused in. And as well, he has these really great interviews if you're an artist and want to learn more about how particular artists became successful in their craft. And he interviews them, so it's a really good interview series that he's created. And you can find out quite a bit about different artists that he's interviewed, which I think is really cool. He's usually doing it by Skype because they're not in New Zealand, but and it's really valuable material. And he's a really great artist if you want to study and learn from one of the greater artists in landscapes today. 
and that's my question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this has this really nice copper brown that's dried now um, with that pink kind of red forming in there that has this really nice drip pattern. And we have it kind of cutting through that yellow as well as that, you know, the brown drips, which is the combination of the purple mixing with the yellow to form brown with that nice yellow underlay with a lot of subtle drips in the background. And this nice red at the bottom, obviously going into that copper brown. Um, the copper isn't quite as intense. Um, it has kind of a more burnt um, tendency at the top with this really kind of blackish brown, really intense colors at the top. Obviously at the bottom it's reflected this similar thing. Um, a little bit of that gesso kind of wiped through on one of the earlier layers, so it's not quite you know, exactly what I wanted. I think the really the middle part of this painting is really beautiful with the way the paint is kind of streaked across, so you don't know kind of how that's formed with the drips kind of dripping naturally with the um, paint kind of coating that and making it kind of seem like it's been brushed across. So it's kind of a really unusual effect with this particular version. Um, so I think that turned out pretty well. Hopefully you guys like it. You can give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you want to see the full version of this, check my Patreon account. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.